we have already prayed on Friday. At times it's still good for us to have a summary of the prayer that we will hear it in our ears because there is power when we declare the word of God. And that is why I still want to declare those words upon you, even though I did it already during the time of uh, refreshment, before we go. I want you to hear this word of God and to hear what the word of God has said concerning you. And let the power of this word speak for you of success unto your life. Amen? Amen. The book of Isaiah 62, the first one said, it said for Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that bonnet. God said it cannot be satisfied concerning your life. Tell yourself that God cannot be satisfied concerning my life. God cannot be satisfied concerning Because that is what he said. He said he cannot be satisfied concerning your life until he will see you shine Amen. in righteousness. That your righteousness will shine as brightness. And that your salvation as a lamp that burn it. Meaning that every time of your life, you cannot be time forsaken. You are that which is relevant. He said, blessing. The mantle of being relevant upon you. Until you become that which I have created you to become, God said it will be interceding for us. And in the book of Romans 8, it, it is rooted there to tell us how Jesus is interceding for us and how the Holy Ghost is interceding for us. He said with groanings that cannot be uttered. So when you read this kind of scripture, you should see the power of the word of God in this scripture. Put it in your mind and know that your righteousness will be as brightness. Otherwise, God will not rest. So even whatever sin you are still committing, know that God is working in me. That sin will go away. Why? His word said, my righteousness shall be bright. Amen? If it looks as if some situations are overpowering you, remember, he said, your salvation will be like a lamp that burn it. I say you should stand up. So I speak this prayer. I'll point you because I'm on my way out. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of God that never changes. As from today onward, the word of God will become in your life. And your righteousness shall go forth as brightness in Jesus' name. Your salvation shall be born as a lamp. In the mighty name of Jesus. Gentiles shall see your righteousness and kings your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be called a new name. We the mouth of God shall call you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the Lord God by his word and the Lord God by his spirit yes, will make you a crown of glory Amen. and a royal dehadem in his hand in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. You will not plant and somebody else will reap your Amen. food. You will become fruitful and you will enjoy the labor of Amen. your hand Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 May the Lord establish Amen. you. May the Lord establish Amen. you. That you become a praise on this Amen. earth. May the Lord establish your home. Amen. That your home become a praise in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord continue to have Amen. rapport with you. May God continue to have conversation Amen. with you. Amen. You shall not be ten for saying But you are ten, Behela. And you are God, Epitaph. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said that strangers shall not drink your wine again. Now we go give your corn as meat to your enemies. So as from today onward, in the mighty name of Jesus, be fruitful and multiply. Amen. Become fruitful and multiply. Amen. In the good things of your life, be fruitful and multiply. Amen. In your body, soul, and spirit, be fruitful and multiply. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Become a light that shines. Oh, shine. 
and your light will not be dim. Become a salt that has value. Become a salt that has relevance. Become a salt. Somebody that is needed. Somebody that cannot be forsaken. Somebody that cannot be ignored. That is your mantle. That is your new mantle. That is your new mantle. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is called darkness. Remarkable the area that is looming your ways. I pray that that darkness be pushed away by the power of the light of God. Be pushed away by the power of the light of God. Everywhere you go, shine. Everywhere you go, shine. In your righteousness, shine. He said, You shall not be small, you shall be great. You shall not be little, you shall be many. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the angels of God continually Amen. go before Amen. you. Make all the crooked paths of your life to become straight. Amen. May the angels of God continually go before you. Make the crooked paths of your life to become straight. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I name the name of God upon your life. He said the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous they run into it and they are saved. I of God upon your life and you are declared safe protected from all evil in the mighty name of Jesus whoever in your root and foundation that has planted things that stagnates you may the weapons and the activities reverse back to them to keep them stuck to in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you in the presence of your enemies. Amen. May God bless you in the presence of your enemies. Amen. May God bless you in the presence of your enemies. Amen. May you not remain where they keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. As Peter did not remain in the prison, but the angels of God opened the, the gates mm. and they were doing the will of God. Mm. Doing that which God has destined them to do. I say you will not remain in the confinement of the prison. Then the enemy has put you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The angels of God minister unto you. And they help you to continue to do that which God has written concerning your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed in the day. Amen. You are blessed in the evening. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray.